The Olympic Games of 2024 are now history. It will be 2028 before the exhilaration of an Olympic year once again causes athletes to envision themselves wearing a gold, bronze, or silver medal for excelling in their own particular sporting events. The next Summer Olympics and the gathering therein will take place in Los Angeles, California. So we can be sure the excitement will be heightened for the people of the United States as the young athletes from around the world come to our country for those summer events. One of the phrases that seems to have captured our American imagination was the title that we gave to our men's basketball team in 1992. We first called them, as you may remember, the Dream Team, because they were such an, an unbelievable collection of basketball talent. And this year's squad was equally deserving of that very same title. They too were a dream team because they combined into one playing unit, some of the most gifted players in the history of basketball. America was rightfully proud of this collection of basketball talent. In much the same way, as our teachers gather once again in this basilica, you are equally worthy of the title of a dream team for a lot of the people. First of all, your students and their parents really think very highly of you. Their parents and families have made tremendous sacrifices to give them the opportunity to have a Catholic school education. They did so because they are convinced that this opportunity will strengthen their gifts, confirm our Catholic faith, and open up possibilities for their future that they would not have in another school. You teachers and administrators and school staff personnel also have played great, placed great hopes in your students. Hopefully they will be committed to working with you to make certain that they will use all of their many talents to the very best of their ability and all that they can be. We are certain that you have the potential to accomplish great things during this coming school year. But you are also a dream team for other reasons as well. One of the reasons that you are such a hopeful sign is that you represent the great diversity of our archdiocese and the DMV community. You are people from a variety of different backgrounds, cultures, races, and ethnic heritages. You bring all of those gifts together here and in service to our schools, <coughs> excuse me, and mostly important to our students. And we are convinced that good things will happen here this year because of your diversity, your skills, and your many unique gifts. The thing that made the dream team so successful was that each player was good at different things. It's anything. When they brought all of their individual talents together, they were unbeatable. And so are you, my sisters and brothers, at the beginning of this new school year. Isaiah the prophet challenges us all to use the gifts that the Spirit offers for the good of all of God's people. During this school year, you will discover a wide variety of gifts and blessings present in your academic communities, and that if you use them in a cooperative spirit, you will be unbeatable. There are things that young people can do 
that will demand the respect of all others. Your students are in unique positions to witness a unity that will inspire the adults who see them. Most of the athletes at the Olympics were young people, some of them just a bit older than those that you may teach this year. Still, they can be world examples of conditioning and training and ap academic prowess. In fact, Olympic contests have relatively very few older competitors because youth is such an important factor in being a world-class athlete. You teachers and staff are our dream team here in this local community. You possess the spirit of truth of which Jesus spoke, especially when you work together as brothers and sisters in service and in service to your students. And you serve as welcome examples of how adults are supposed to live in harmony and in unity. May God's own Holy Spirit, the very source of all of your many gifts and talents, allow you to work well together and to be the dream team that will inspire others to model your sense of unity and purpose. My prayer for you at this opening day mass of God's Holy Spirit is that at the conclusion of this year, when the faculties from our schools began their analysis of the past year, that they will all stand in agreement that this year they really did work with a dream team, the dream team of the school faculties and administrators of the Archdiocese of Washington. Thank you for all that you do, for all that you will do, and for being the dream team that will bring home the prize. Amen.